Hello, I'm David. I'm 63 years old. That's my daughter, Melissa. Hi, I'm Melissa. I'm 35 years old this year. Actually, originally started from Pak Lam Singh Big Kway Teow. My mom is the one who created the Big Kway Teow Dry, which come without gravy. So how we make this soup is, we put in things like bone marrow, beef dry, biscuit. Tendon we cannot avoid because tendon is long and small. It's at least about two to three days to build up a stock that is suitable for service. Generally, the more things you boil the soup with, the more Love flavorful it. it becomes. So the meat, um, the tripe, which is the stomach, and then the, the bone marrow as well. All these builds up the flavor. Some customers say how you make your chili. I mean, I'm nothing to be shy to tell them what are the recipe. I just tell them lime by itself. If you're going to chop, you can taste the thing. So we add some chili paste at the same time. We add a lot of things inside. That's why this is how we make our own chili, which my grandfather created. If pieces are good, maybe we make a big tub that you keep for about one week. I've always been interested in it, and that's something that I wanted to do even before I started teaching. But then uh, my grandma was like, no, uh, don't be a hawker, you're a university graduate. So I, I did teaching for like 10 years, just probably like last year. I was just telling myself, if I don't do it now, I probably won't have the courage to do it anymore. Because I think as you get older, it's, it's very difficult uh, because I mean, you're comfortable with earning a certain salary, you know. And then taking like a huge pay cut and getting a job with no benefits, uh, I mean medical or otherwise. No, no off days, uh, public holidays and everything like that. It, it's like something that you would think like, do I really want to do it? Uh, and, I, and am I sure I want to do it, you know? Yeah, when I thought I, I, I can be like a lao pan and have like a bit more control over my time, I, I was uh, I, I greatly mistaken. I was prepared, okay, like, okay physically long hours, uh, you know, like tiring and stuff like that. But I think it's not until you actually do it, then you realise like, oh yeah, it's really a lot more tiring and demanding. Uh, as compared to what I like, imagine it to be. How thing is people come in, hey, lao pan, lao pan, they want order certain things, right? But I thought like I can really be the lao pan, they say, like, okay, you know, I can set my own hours. Things that make me happy with the customer. I mean, I check on the customers, they have the food. Then they're like, oh, it's very good. Or like people who come and then they're like, uh, we are hao, uh, gan de. Then I'm like, uh, woman gan de mei zi. Then they give me like suspicious look like them. What is this no gravy thing? Like, isn't all beef noodle dry with gravy? Then I'll explain to them, and then some of them will be like, okay, I'll give it a shot. You know, and then if there's a thing nearby, sometimes I'll just pop out. I said, so how's the food? They say, hey, it's surprisingly very good. So I think the happiest thing is having customers tell me that the food is good and bringing friends. I think it's maybe the first question that um, maybe you ask about what makes our beef noodle special, which is probably like this taste of comfort, you know, a uh, taste of home. That would be what um, yeah, I want my customers to, to feel like. Something that, you know, when I'm feeling down or like a cold rainy day, it's like, oh, this is like nice and comforting, you know, and yeah, it makes you all like warm and fuzzy inside.